Scary D5 Car Podcast coming to you from San Antonio, Texas, with my guest today, Gunner Coronado. My man, how are you, bro? I'm good, brother. How you doing, man? Appreciate being man, with you. Man, I'm good, man. I know you're about to start your training, bro, and I got to ask you, man, uh, their coach, man, do they have an uh, AC out there, man? <laughs> nah, we have it there, man, but well, he don't like to use it now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, definitely, man. I know it, it, it adds to your um, um, your mental training, right? Because it's hot as hell, and if you can get through with that, man, I mean, that's pretty tough, bro. Yeah, bro, off in the valley, bro, you know what I'm saying? And, and out there, it's, it's, it's a million degrees out there all year round, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm pretty used to it, bro. <laughs> and uh, just so that uh, clarify, man, uh, Strike Kings LLC is the uh, the team you're fighting under, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Strike Kings may appear in uh, Copper's Cove, man. Copper's Cove, man. And are you guys from Copper's Cove, man, or do you guys drive out there? Uh, I, I I actually stay out in in, uh, in Killeen, but yeah, we drive out we drive out here to Copper's Cove uh, every day. No, and I, I gotta ask because I know uh, I've interviewed some of your fighters before, some of your teammates, and uh, a lot of them live there, but a lot of them because there's, there's a lot of small towns around there, so not, not everybody lives in Copper's Cove, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, like I started from the valley, man, and uh, uh, my coach, my coach, uh, my coach uh, retired from training, from training, man. So I, I, I drove all around Texas to try to find a, a new coach, and th this is where I ended up, right here. Oh man, well, you, that's that's actually a good thing, man. There's a lot of tough dudes out there, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, we're good out here, man. We're doing real good. Yes, sir. And let me ask you, bro. Uh, this fight coming up, of course, it's going to be for the Legacy Fighting uh, Alliance. Uh, there's a couple of your your teammates on that card. Yeah, man. I got some real good guys, man. I got some guys making their their uh, amateur debuts. I got uh, I got my boy BJ Miller. He's uh, he's making his second pro fight. Uh, Jody Oliver. Uh, Jordan Bradley, man. Jordan Bradley, uh, he's doing real good. He's making his his amateur debut. Jody's making his uh amateur debut also, man. So they're they're fucking looking very good, man. I'm expecting expecting them to do a very good job, and we're training together every day, man. They're they're doing very well, and I'm very proud of them. No, I mean I'm I'm pretty sure, man. And I gotta ask you, bro, because uh, the fact that there's a few of you guys fighting on this card, does that make it a little bit easier for you to step in the cage? No, I wouldn't say it makes it any more more or less easier, man. I've been fighting for a long time. Uh, uh, I've been fighting since I was since I was real young. Uh, I've been training a lot since I was real, so it's it's not a a, a big deal for. Me. Uh, but I do I do appreciate it just because you know, especially for the guys that that uh, this is the first one. You know what I mean? They they have guys to help them back them up and and, and walk them through the whole thing because it it is a uh, it's a big deal, man. It's a big deal, especially for for them individually. No, for sure, man. And now let me ask you, because uh, the LFA, of course, they're on the UFC Fight Pass. Uh, will your fight be on the portion of the uh, UFC Fight Pass? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I fought for them before. And I, I I was on the earlier year prelims, but uh, they have amateurs. They have amateurs coming here, a lot, a lot of less experienced guys. So I, I, I'm going to be on the on the, on the the Fight Pass card, yeah. Oh, that's sweet, man. And now with something like that, because like you said right now, man, I mean, you, haven't, you fought for them before, but you weren't on the UFC portion of it or the UFC Fight Pass. Um, are you nervous because of that? I mean, you're gonna get more eyes on you. No, man. As soon as you see, as you see Fight Pass, everybody wants to tune in. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, it is a big, bigger deal, man. A lot of people tune in on 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 those cards, but I don't, I don't, I don't shy under the under the lights, man. I'm ready to go. I, I'm here to fight, and, and that's it, man. All this, all this other shit, it it's cool, man. It's cool for the posters and cool for for everything else, but. At the end of the day, I, I'm here to fight, and, and, and that's all that matters, man. No, no, definitely, man. And I know, just like you mentioned again, bro, I mean, this, the whole social media aspect of it, man, I mean, I know promoters, I mean, they, they want to sell tickets. You know, they want you guys to sell and, of course, you know, fill up the house. Um, do you shy away from from uh, from something like this, like interviews, or if people want, want to talk to you or get your autograph, are you kind of like, nah, not your thing? I When I was a lot younger, man, I felt like I had a lot more to say when I was a lot younger. Uh, but, uh, as I, as I, as I go, I go out, go out more on these bigger shows and, and shit, I, I feel like, uh, uh, it's up to me to, to, uh, expose myself, I guess. Uh, I'm not very over, overly eager to talk about myself or, or to brag myself to anybody, you know what I mean? But, uh, uh, I'm, I'm open to talking to anybody. I'm open, I'm open to to uh, saying whatever needs to be said or uh, or promoting. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, I'm not like 
over anxious to do it. You know what I mean? But uh, part of the, it's, part of, it's part of the yeah. game, you know. Definitely, man. And now, as far as training, because of course, um, I mean, striking, of course, it's your, you know, it's what you guys. Uh, I would say, what would you say is the ratio for you guys out there, man? Is it like a 75, 25, or uh, how do you guys train when it comes oh, to? Uh, Everybody gets a lot of, uh, we get a lot of, uh, uh, I want to say black backlash, but I mean, the, the name is Strikey's bad, but uh, we have, we have a very good, we have a very good grappling program out here that, that we just got our, our new head coach, uh, uh, Coach Jaleel. He's out here running a, a solid program, man. He just started, he said, we started with us. He's been with us for a couple of months, but now he just took the reins as the head coach. And uh, he's running a real, a real good grappling program. Uh, uh, we got, uh, we head up, we also train with, uh, we're under, under Travis Moore up at Temple. Uh, congratulations to them on their new, uh, on their new uh, building. Oh, yes, uh, yes. Fight, uh, grapples on fight pass and everything, man. So uh, we have a lot of, of grappling to go off of out over here. Uh, purple, we got purple belts. We got black belts. We got we, we're 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 an all around team, man. Uh, just cause don't don't let the name fool you. You know what I mean? We're 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 we do everything out over here. No, no, for sure. And I and I know that myself, man, because I've seen you guys training, and I know some of the, the fighters. I just had to throw that out there because of the fact that yeah, like you said, there's it's in the name, but I mean it is it is still mixed martial arts, right? Yes, sir. It is, man. We're we're all ready to go. We got we've had a lot of mixed martial arts fighters come out here. And uh, we have a lot of good fighters uh, coming up, and and uh, some that are still going right now. Everybody's doing very well. Yeah, definitely, man. Let me ask you, bro. When it came, uh, when you first started getting into combat sports, I mean, you said you you were fighting at a young young age. Was that through uh, like uh, school fights, or was that like a competition, or what, what was that, bro? I started off boxing, man. I started off boxing uh, when I was real young. Uh, yeah, I, I used to get into fights in school. Uh, I wanted to be a boxer when I was when I was younger. Uh, when I was real young, I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't the greatest man. I wasn't very good at protecting myself. I wanted to I wanted to fight, but it uh, uh it didn't it didn't it didn't it, it was it didn't go the way I thought it was gonna go. Uh, so uh, my 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 parents actually they pulled me out, man, and and I couldn't I couldn't live with that. I, I needed to that, that's what I wanted to do, you know. Yeah. So. As I wanted to get back in and I box, I started a box. I started boxing again. I started boxing again, and uh, as as that time went on, maybe a couple of years of uh, boxing, uh, you started seeing, you know, uh, the UFC started coming out. Uh, uh, the video games started coming out. I, uh, you, you know what I mean. There's now there's movies. Now there's MMA <laughs> movies coming out now and everything. You know what I mean. So uh, I started kickboxing. I started kickboxing for a couple of years and. Um, I saw uh, uh, Frank Mir uh, submit uh, Anthony Harlock and with a Kamora. I thought I thought it was I, I couldn't believe it, but I thought it was so cool. And that's when it all started started to gel together for me, man. And, and I, I just I started I, I stuck to the mixed martial arts route. No, and as far as boxing, man, is that something you want to try later on in life, or are you just strictly uh, mixed uh, martial arts? I think mixed martial arts is what I do right now. Uh, I don't really do too much of of other of other styles. I don't really do nagas or BJJ to it. I love jujitsu and I love boxing or whatever. But I don't. There's some guys that that's all they all they do is is grappling. All they do is boxing. All they do is so for me to not for me not to put 110 percent of what I can into specifically to those to those things. I I don't feel like. Uh, uh, if I'm not gonna be able to 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 put that 100% into it, uh, I'd rather just not do. It. I'd rather keep doing what I'm doing and, and and work on everything the the way I am. No, no, definitely, man. Now let me ask you, bro. Uh, as far as your nickname, man, tell us tell us your nickname and who came up with that, man. Who gave you that nickname? <laughs> uh, uh, they called me Gunner Moose, man. Uh, when I was a boy, uh. Uh, I would play football, and and uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, my dad was a real Dallas Cowboys fan, and uh, Daryl Johnson had the same nickname. That was yeah. my dad's player. You know, I, well, I wanted to be my dad's favorite player when I was a boy. <laughs> like, I want to be, I want to be a favorite. So I, I stole the nickname, and uh, it just, it just stuck with me. It just stuck with me when I was a boy. No, no, definitely. And I mean, the the way the Cowboys are going, man, I'm pretty sure your dad probably picked you to follow, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm a, I'm a Cleveland fan, bro. I've been a Cleveland fan oh. for a wow. while. 
man. And now let me ask you, bro, as far as uh, th those out there you're training with on the regular, man, th uh, throw some names out there for us. Who's out there helping you uh, get ready for this fight? Oh, man, my head coach, my head coach, Kruk uh, He's he's the guy that 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 got me to stay out here and keep training. Because, I, like I said, I was moving around the whole state, man. I, I, I traveled hundreds of miles, man. Uh, I'm at the very tip. Of the of the state, man. You know what I mean. I'm I'm the south south. You know what I'm saying. And uh, I went everywhere, San Antonio. I went uh uh, anywhere everywhere from here from here from Brownsville, man. And uh, I was I was planning to come here and just train a little bit. Okay, and time to move on. And and Kasib, uh, he he the way he coached out here, we had the same mindset uh on training out here, man. So uh, I I stuck around. He's the real reason why I stuck around. Um. Uh, Chadrick Turner, he's my head MMA coach. Uh, Chadrick Turner is my Muay Thai coach. Uh, coach Jaleel, he's my he's my uh, my new grappling coach. Uh, uh, Sal Guerrero, he was he was my he was my uh, strength conditioning coach uh, for the last uh, four months. He he really helped me out and, and really kicked my ass. Uh, 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 Luis Vega is, is like, it was uh was my starting head coach who I started out with. Um, uh, and he he still calls and keeps an eye on me. Uh. Um, him, him, and his brother Miel. So the, yeah. the bigger guys always keep an eye on me all the time. Uh, and I just train up here, and and I, and I cross train in in Austin or wherever, wherever, uh, wherever we go. You know what I'm saying? But those are that, my, my those are my base coach. Okay, yeah, man. And I know I know the uh, the Vega brothers, man. I've heard of them. I've, I've actually uh, you know watched a few of their fights and actually able to cover a couple a couple of their fights. Well, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, as far as your upbringing, I mean, you know, you got a great base, great foundation. Now you're able to add to it. Let me ask you um, this year, man, because you haven't fought this year, have you? I haven't fought this year. Well, I had my last fight. I had some problems after after I fought my last one. I had I had another fight scheduled right away after my last one, man. But I started having some problems. I I, I got I was real beat up after that fight. Oh. Uh, and I started a new strength and conditioning program that I started doing out here, man. Uh, so yeah, it took me it took me a few months to be able to get back in. And now because of that, I mean, of course, after after every fight, you don't want to get injured, man. I mean, they, they do happen, unfortunately. But uh, are you looking to stay busy this year, man? I mean, the, we're already pretty much halfway there, but are you looking to fight a few oh, more times? No, we're ready to work, man. We're ready to work. Me crew, man. We're we're out here. We're ready to work. Uh, oh, there he is right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're ready to work, man. It, it, uh, I, I felt like it's a little small for the for the class. You know what I mean? Uh, for, cause I fight, I fight at forty five, and I, I was a little small for the class. And uh, we a lot of a lot of uh, how do you say? A lot of the game plan of this year was to get put on a bit of size, and and while keeping up my speed, and uh, we matched it, man. We did, we did what we had to do, man. We're ready to stay busy. We're ready, we're ready to do. It to do this year and, and i'm trying to fight two more years at the end of uh this year even with with the amount of time we have left i still want i still want to compete uh two more times no at definitely least. now uh this this fight coming up man your opponent do you know anything about him have you looked him up I let, coaches, I let my coaches do more of the research than i do i've seen i've seen a little bit uh i've seen a little bit about what he does but really they have to do the game plan for me uh i i try not to uh Watch too much, man, because really, uh, you start worrying about more. Oh, what are they gonna do? You know what I mean? I, I focus on what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm going to fight. You know what I mean? I'm not going to to play defense the whole time, or you know, I'm going to have to fight the way I fight and, and do what I have to do. You know what I mean? Yes, sir, man. I'm hoping to make it out there, man. I already requested my media pass, so I'm hoping to be out there in uh, Belton, Texas. I mean, that's where the uh, Legacy Fighting Alliance, of course, is gonna happen. Um. Anything, anything you want to add, bro? Do you have any sponsors helping you for this fight? I don't, man. I don't have any sponsors uh, for me right now. Uh, I should be looking a lot more than what I do. Uh, most of my time, man, I'm here to train, and I, I work full time, bro. You know what I mean? I, I run a job in in, uh, in Austin, in Austin, Texas. I'm an electrician. Uh, so a lot of my time sticking up. So when I'm working. I'm working 24/7, man. But anybody can help me out. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and any of my guys, you know what I mean? All my guys need help too. They're amateurs, you know what I mean? So they, they don't get paid. They don't get paid to step in there, man. There ain't, there ain't no shit a bit of difference, you know what I'm saying? Like, they fight the same fucking They just don't get paid for it, you know what I mean? So they could use help too. 
Uh, like I said, my boy, my boy Jody, uh, uh, Jody Oliver, my boy BJ, my boy uh, Jordan. You know what I'm saying? We all, they all need help, and I would appreciate all the help that I, that I can get, man. Um, and uh, big shout out to my team up here in Copper's Cove, and uh, big shout out to 956 in Brownsville. You feel me? Uh, that's where sure. I'm from. I'm always representing 100. You know what I'm saying? RGV all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I do appreciate you. I know you're about to start your training. And um, I wish you the best, man. I'm going to try to hit up one more of your teammates, hopefully, uh, this coming week. But I uh, hope to see you guys out there at Legacy Fighting Alliance, man. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate you giving me the call. I'm bringing it on. Shout out to you, man. And I hope, I hope you know what I'm saying, you keep doing good in what you're doing, brother. No, no, I appreciate you, man. Don't hang up yet. Everybody out there, of course, once again, this is Spider, the Fight Card Podcast. Till next time, follow up.